Hello YouTube, this is another video or epic tutorial on how to make a type to talk program in Visual Basic. Um, okay, let's get started. So we're going to open up our Visual Basic program, doesn't matter which one you have. I have 2010 Express. Got the new one just for this video. We're going to go File, New Project. We're going to select a Windows Form application. And at the bottom here, we're going to change the name to Type to Talk. Click OK. It's going to load our project. OK, here we go. We got Form 1. Here, to start off, we're going to resize Form 1. Then we're going to go over into its properties. And we're going to rename it Type to Talk. And for the icon, dry icons I would love this icons website and we're gonna go into search and we're gonna type in talk use that Google talk or type This is good. You can use this icon. I'm gonna use it. Just click it. Do you? You ha It has to be an ICO file. It's gonna download as a zip. I'm gonna pause the until it downloads. Okay, so I'm just gonna extract it to my desktop. And I'm going to go right here into the properties of Form 1, Icon, we're going to click the Browse button. It should bring you to something like this. Desktop. Open. And then we got this nice icon right here. And when we run it, the icon shows up right here at the taskbar. Right here. Now to start, we're going to type toolbox. Um, use put a button in, w one button, one label, and a text box. Okay. So label one is going to go over there. We're going to go into label one properties. And its text is going to be type to talk. Now we're going to go into the font because we want it to be bold. It should look nice. Okay, so there it is. And now we're going to make our text box big. And then we're going to go to the to be that big. Okay, so we're gonna now we're going to start with the coding button. Okay, so the codes are in the description uh, and I'll pause the video right here and then play it once I've typed in the code. Okay, I'm back. I've typed in the codes and I've and yeah. Okay, so the code is dim S-A-P-I and then the next line SAPI equals create object in brackets quotation SAPI dot SP voice quotations bracket and then the next line is SAPI dot speak bracket text box one dot text and those are the codes for button one 
go back to form one. We're gonna rename the button. I'm gonna just type in enter. You can make it say whatever you want. You can make it say talk or whatever. To a box, I'm gonna insert one more button. Button two. Button two is gonna be end. Um, this is probably the simplest command ever for end, and it's just end. That's it. And now let's go back and let's try debugging and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the microphone toward the speaker. Okay, so. Yeah, it has some problems with what it says, but... Hello, world. Okay, so that one sounded pretty good. Hello, world. Hi. Okay, so that's the tutorial.